Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this quick video I'm going to compare Wix with Framer and I'm going to share with you important things that you need to know about both of these platforms like what are the pros and cons that you have to be aware of. So first thing first, I'm going to be honest straight up in the video, I'm a fan of Framer, huge fan, I love the design and intuitive look it got, so I will try not to be biased, alright? So first thing first, uh, the pricing plan, this is where we're gonna start. On a, let's say we're gonna have it on monthly basis both and you're gonna find right here that the basic costs in weeks $12 a month and you are going to find here that you're not unable to have e-commerce platform unable to have the bookings platform and also online programs and ticket and event management so all of things you're not going to have for for the basic but here with a framer what you're gonna find here it's more kind of like minimalistic what you're actually getting so the framer is in a way like a figma but for websites is that it's for like a design tool that helps you create a beautiful website same with the wix studio but with wix studio you're gonna have more features and more things that you can do so here in mini you're gonna have two pages 10 gigabyte bandwidth custom domain and here for the basic for $20 a month you're going to have 1000 pages 50 gigabyte bandwidth password protect and you are going to find here uh, more things but again like $20 on framer is going to get you less comparing to 20 euro a month on on wix that's straight up facts because of the store and all the possible things that you can do with wix studio we will get further so on both you have the option to uh, check and create your own create a new site and you can check out the templates so for example these are the templates for Wix and they are beautiful I mean like like pretty pretty and there are a lot of them and this is the same thing with Framer so I would say like this is complete win-win I'm going to show right here the template that I, that I created uh, from the from the uh, plugins and I'm going to browse the plug plugins here to get the templates and when I'm going to be in a templates here here you are going to find for example free templates or paid templates and they're also really pretty now they are kind of on, on the same side but I would say there is something more beautiful about the framer templates comparing to Wix this is just my personal opinion like you could have different one so that's for the templates when you would compare all you have to do is just like choose it like I choose this one right here and voila how it looks is that I have the uh, the desktop the tablet and and phone the one really important thing is that uh, from my own perspective um, Framer is not lagging so much comparing to Wix let me explain here so when you're gonna have the studio here and I'm going to let's say use this template and I'm going to edit a template Vic Studio for me when I was like using it it was lagging more and let me just show you how the whole designing looks like on both so when I'm going to have this one right here on Framer and I have here on, on Wix so even right here, when I choose the, the framer, it just like went more quickly. Even right here, when you, when, do you see that? When I'm like loading here, and when I'm like loading here, or when I'm loading here, it's quicker for framer. This is what I'm talking about. Those like kind of like micro lags, I don't know how, even how to call it. So with Vic Studio, how it works is that you're gonna have plus here, and there you're gonna have like elements, quickly add things. You have options to add sections so when we're going to compare here the sections on both i'm going to add a new page and i'm going to insert you can have sections so you are going to have sections and the sections are much better in a wix studio comparing to the framer like no talking about that for example you have the the even the categories for products for services for team and for example here you don't have it like for the team and you don't have this section so that's for the sections then on both you have options to add and add elements and here also you have also options to add some elements here also like containers text buttons that that's something that you can add in both now for me it just looks better on a framer 
And how does it look then? So for example, I'm going to choose a section and let's say I'm going to choose this one right here. So now it's going to insert into my site. And again, right there, now you see that there is like kind of like, do you see that? I, I don't know why it's lagging like this. And here in Framer, look at that. I'm going to have section and let's say I'm going to add, okay, this one right here. And then I'm going to add this one right here. And do you see, do you see how quickly it is? And I'm not biased right now. Like you can see if I buy yourself on this video right now and then contact and then pricing. Voila, right? We got it. And here, then what you can do is that when you're going to have it, you can just like change things, change uh, text and everything. But the thing is, is that with, uh, with the, how would I call it? With Framer, it looks and works based on the layouts that you're going to have. But with Wix, you can move things more how you want. So you, you can, you have complete freedom with Wix. You have also freedom with Framer, but it looks different. It's a kind of like drag and drop based on the layouts that you would like work with the frames and things like that. So I can click here frame. I can add the frame here. Okay. And I can make it bigger and now I have the frame. So I can insert something into the frame like image here. And then let's say I'm going to insert and I'm going to add the text here. And again, you can move it freely, but when you're going to have the section, look at that in, in the section that you would like add, you can't, you have the form and you can move it through the form, for example, right? Maybe if you're like into uh, programming, maybe you can, right? But that, that's something that you have to be aware of about how that works is that there is going to be learning curve on both and it's up to you like which one you like actually more for me i like framer more because it just like feels better to me but maybe you're gonna like wix more so here you can have site styles here you can have also options to global sections app market where you're gonna find apps here same this is the same thing that you would have with the framer that you're going to find plugins i will show you and here you're gonna find plenty of plugins that you can use so this is like another kind of like comparison that they got both oh, with the market on weeks, you're going to have more. So that's something that you have to be aware of. Also on both, you're going to have the CMS. I can't really say which one is better for if the CMS is good for a uh, better for framer or comparing to weeks. Now it really depends like what you actually need with the articles and with the pages. But here, for example, you see that that it just feels for me framer better even like when i look here i can edit things so you see right here this is like the section and i can you can move it around here then you're gonna have you can like just start changing the text you can, and everything right so this can like be created for you and these are the layers so that's for that that you're going to find these layers here for a framer on wix studio also you're gonna have like layers so this is kind of like similar thing and you have the cell and then you have the text here, right? But here I can like take it and I can move it. But here, for example, when I have like fixed the thing here and I can't move it like that, maybe I can move it, adding something there and then I can move it. But here you see like the kind of difference there. And this is the entry level performance between both. And I hope it provided you value like what are the differences. So thank you very much for watching and have a great day and goodbye.